Salaam. Peace be upon you, peace be upon all of us. I'm here today to bring with me the grief of all of New Zealand. And there is huge grief in this nation that we share with you and on your behalf. And I'm here also to stand alongside you. You will have heard me say in the media that yes, this is an event that has happened in Christchurch. That this has happened to our Muslim community. But you are us. And so we feel deeply in our hearts what has happened to you. We feel grief. We feel injustice. We feel anger. And we share that with you. My immediate concerns are twofold. You want your loved ones back. And I know that there are religious considerations with their burial. And that is top of our minds, and it has been from the moment that this occurred. It was one of the first things that I asked. One of the issues that we have had is within the mosques, we had to ensure that it was safe to be able to retrieve those who had fallen within it. And once the police have been able to do that, they then have started the removal and identification of your loved ones. Of course, they want to do that as quickly as they can. We have here representatives who are our liaison officers with your communities. They know all too well the pressing need for us to move as quickly as possible. They have shared with me their hope that they can give you more information within the next hour. Their hope is that all bodies will be removed by the end of the day. Uh, that is what they are working very hard on. But if you don't mind, I'll ask that the police are the ones, because they have the contact directly with those inside the mosque, who will continue to provide that information throughout the rest of the afternoon. But please be assured, we know how important this is to you. We are doing everything we can. My second consideration is your safety. That you have safe places of worship. That you can feel safe in your worship. The Christchurch City Council is, uh, is here and available to try and ensure that you have the facilities available to continue your worship. We're also working alongside the police. They have made a decision to continue to have an armed presence outside mosques around New Zealand and that will continue for the near future but you need to feel safe beyond that. And so we will work with the police and alongside your community leaders to make sure that you have whatever it takes to ensure that you can feel secure entering into your places of worship wherever they may be in whichever part of the country they may be. My third immediate concern is that while you grieve, and while of course you are focused rightly on bringing your loved ones out, we are very focused on ensuring you have the support that you need in the days and the weeks and the months that follow. Many of those who have lost their lives will be the ones who will be bringing the income <coughs> into their households. Many will have dependents and spouses. I want to give you assurance that through our system in New Zealand, through ACC, there is provision to provide for those families. That provision exists regardless of the immigration status of those who have lost their lives, and regardless of the immigration status of their families and loved ones. It includes the cost of burial. It includes support for lost income, and that can last for uh, not just months, but it can last for years. So I give you that assurance. We are working now uh, to bring agencies here to be ready to answer your questions as you have them. I ask of you uh, to help support us as we work through language barriers. Many of you will be able to aid us in communicating with members of the community who need that. We will keep doing everything we can to make sure that we have those who, within our services, are able to speak the multiple uh, languages required. But please, community leaders, I ask for your support so we make sure that no one is left without the information or the support that they need. My final message is one of unity. You'll see standing alongside me and behind me leaders from uh, the opposition, 
from New Zealand First, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Leader of the New Zealand Green Party, members of Parliament from across the divide, local members here in Christchurch, and of course the Mayor, Leanne Dalziel. <coughs> we are here in unity. We are here on behalf of the public of New Zealand who, whilst they cannot stand here today, share your deep grief. We all share your deep grief. The person who brought this hate to us brought it here. It was not developed here. It is perhaps one of the reasons it feels so alien to all of us. This is not who we are. This is not who Christchurch is. This is not who New Zealand is. And so you have our love and our support. You have it now. You have it for the coming days. You have it for the coming weeks. You have it because this is your home. 